All right, determine the slope of each line. Well, this is in slope intercept form, so I can say straight away that the slope must be 3 fifths, rise 3, run 5. This one, straight away, my slope is 4, rise 4, run 1. There's an imaginary 1 that I'm dividing my 4 by. This one requires some rearranging, so I'm going to subtract 3x first. So I don't know what happened to my 3 there. And next, I'm going to divide everything by 2. So 6 divided by 2 minus 3 over 2 x. So I keep the coefficients separate. That simplifies to 3 minus 3 over 2 x. Remember, slope is the coefficient of x. So even though x is second here, my slope is still the coefficient and includes that negative value. So here my slope is negative 3 over 2. Slope is our rise over run. It does not have the x in it. It's the measure of how fast my line is changing. All right, now I want to get y by itself. Since this is minus 4y, I'm going to add it to the other side. So I'll have x minus 10 equals positive 4y. Divide everything by 4. Remember, there's an imaginary 1 here. So 1 over 4x minus 10 over 4 is equal to y. That tells me that the slope is 1 fourth. Notice in my slope, no x's, only numbers.